Before the May flowers come the April showers. And with the rain, you will see an assortment of umbrellas blossoming all over the sidewalks of your neighborhood. But when those umbrellas open, beware. For if you're not careful, you too could end up just another statistic in the Umbrella War. Hello, this is Bill Jenkins, and I'm here to address a serious problem that's been plaguing the streets of New York for several years now. A problem that's been overlooked by government officials for far too long. A problem that's left many innocent New Yorkers maimed for life. It's a serious problem that, if ignored too long, could fester into a global pandemic. I'm talking about the recent infestation of oversized umbrellas. Now, we know that uh, the first use of the umbrella was actually by a precursor of modern humans, Neanderthal man. And about 100,000 years ago, they used a stick with leaves on the end of it as an umbrella, which didn't work very well because uh, the water got through the leaves, you couldn't fold it up, and uh, you couldn't reuse it. Uh, the first uh, use of the umbrella as a weapon was by the Chinese General Chow, who uh, outfitted his army, not only with shields and swords, but also with umbrellas, which were known as General Chow's umbrellas. We had the opportunity to meet and interview the forerunner in the protests against oversized umbrellas, the president of OSUC, Mr. Christopher Roach. I mean, you know, I've protested oversized umbrellas, but my last eye surgery was May, five months now. And I made several attempts to call the mayor, but like every other politician, they should, look. Uh, excuse me, did your ego really require an umbrella that big? you. Umbrella ho. Umbrella ho. That's all I can think of. Day or night, Mr. Roach is determined to seek justice. Oh, yes. Uh, hello, this is Don Cheadle calling. Is the uh, mayor in? Can I speak to him, please? No, uh, this is someone else. No. 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 I don't care. I call, please. I don't care. No, I understand. No, I... No, 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 no. I understand, I understand perfectly. I understand that the mayor is gonna to continue to ignore this particular problem until somebody Sweet. with an umbrella, ah, ah, hello? Yeah, until somebody with an umbrella walks up and pokes him in the ass. Mr. Roach firmly believes that persistence is the key to success. Oh, hi, this is Tim Gunn calling. I need to speak to the mayor about one of my designers uh, has to do with his member. Yeah, he's going to want to take this. Muffy, well, get the f*** out of here. Yes, hello, this is Winston... Uh, State dog. Um, the mayor, please, this is a, 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 an emergency. Yes. You bitch! You're a nasty little bitchy lady, huh? Tell you what, put the uh, mayor on the phone there, mother- Hello! Oh, I'm on a trampoline! Yeah! As I get a fourth, I'll be on a- Oh, oh god, that, that was my back. Okay, okay, um... So, let me ask you a question, Mr. Frankel. How do you feel about this man that's trying to ban oversized umbrellas throughout the city. This whole thing's preposterous. This whole situation is preposterous. It's a violation of our rights. I mean, who is this guy? Sorry, it's Chris Roach. Who?
The modern steel umbrella as we know it was developed initially in England and true to form Americans stole the idea and began to make money off of it. We see it being a huge part of the industrial revolution here in the United States, the mass production of the umbrella and I might add the beginning of an increase in size of the umbrella. Umbrellas get bigger and bigger and bigger and by the 20th century there are injuries. In fact, I think this is a problem that's on the rise, especially amongst people over six feet tall. These poor people, because of their height, are basically in the line of fire. There's a lot of crap that comes with being a tall person. Eye trauma from oversized umbrellas. Just the beginning. Tip of the iceberg. I mean... <laughs> little people... Fuck, they hate us. <laughs> little Italian people, forget it. I've had 10 cases of eye trauma due to oversized umbrellas this month. As children, we're taught the basics in the area of safety. Stop, drop, and roll. Don't talk to strangers. Check if she's got an Adam's apple. But has there ever been a day set aside just for umbrella safety? I think not. All right, now pay attention, Bobby, pay attention. All right, now, we got an oversized umbrella that's got no business being on a, a, a city street in the line of fire for anybody over six feet tall, right in the eye, eye injury, therefore, umbrellas kill, and we need to ban the goddamn umbrellas for New York from the city streets, wherever. Any questions? You should watch where you're walking. Yeah, well, you should shut your fat little mouth. I'm telling my mom, you look like a dopey pirate. Yeah, your mother's a dopey pirate. Security, you need to come down here right now. You have a big head. <laughs> this is boring. You're boring, huh? You, how about I take this umbrella here and I stick it right up your ass? How would you like that, kid? Jerks! Bunch of little babies. Oh, you gotta go, man. Okay, go okay. get okay. the kids like that. And Get that camera out of here! <clears throat> Alright, um, take up your eye patch, please. Very good. Oh! What the f, man? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let's try it again. This time, stop my hand as soon as you see it. What the f It's a little joke we have here at the clinic. We like to mess around. <laughs> right, Chris? Okay. All right, last time. Here we go. Serious. Dude, serious. don't hit me. For serious this time. Okay. Okay, so see it. Oh, lesson learned, Mr. Grasshopper. He has some peripheral field damage. It's peripheral? Right, thank you. Ah! Stop, Who's next? Oh! Umbrella phobia is uh, more common than people think. Umbrellas are basically a weapon. And anyone can buy one. And no license, no training. Uh, we specialize in this kind of treatment here. At the Institute of Object Phobia, uh, we treat our patients with the utmost care and professionalism. Okay, now today, we're going to try a little... A systematic desensitization, okay? 
Now, remember, it's not alive. It can't hurt you. Okay, now, you ready? Okay. <laughs> See? It didn't hurt you. Nothing happened. See? Nothing happened, right? You're fine. Uh, in, in the pail? Yeah, yeah. It's all in the release. It's all in the release. It's part of the therapy. I think he's doing very well. A few more sessions in here. And then, uh, well, I think he'll be ready for group therapy. And uh, that'll really help. Doing great. Great. Sister, sign my petition. I got hit in the eye with a giant, uh... Get a light, loser! Hey, go f yourself, you stupid f hole! That'll be 27 Hail Marys, you git! We happen to catch Mr. Roach on a particularly bad day. Okay, gentlemen, now you've all come far, far away in overcoming the trauma that's been caused to you by oversized umbrellas. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of each one of you. And I think you're all ready for the next step. You guys ready to take your lives back, huh? Miss Powers. Allie Harvey. I had just got back from Afghanistan in the war. In the middle of war and bombs and everything is blowing up. And I survived. I came back home a hero. And I lost my eye one day standing in line at the Yankee game. So my name is Sal Governale and um, I have to be honest with you, I don't, I don't get much sex at home. I, it's, it's kind of embarrassing to reveal that. Uh, but it happens. I've been married for a long time. And uh, you might be thinking, well, what the hell does that have to do with the umbrella? And it has a lot to do with it. This lady opened this large, big-sized umbrella like the size of something you use at, uh, at the beach or something. <sighs> you know, I'm, I moved here from Ireland and, you know, we faced our problems. We've had the English, potato famines. I, if that country is 92% of the year rain. You see, um... Because I don't, have, I don't have the opportunity to have sex with my wife much, I have a tendency to go to these uh, adult peep boots a lot. See, see, it was the white man who invented the yeah, umbrellas. Honey, honey, and honey, 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 it's okay. I moved here, I didn't think it would happen. It's not like I moved to Seattle. All I'm saying is, people, please be careful with these things. That's all I can say. I stepped out of the building and it was raining and I looked up and poof i got hit right in the eye uh with an umbrella see the white man want to keep the black hey, man honey, wet honey, 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 that's why he honey, no 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 honey you can get through this focus it's okay please people it's okay be more careful with your umbrellas yeah we can't take another victim like me like me like me no, i can take it i can take at least man i'm lying it's all an act. Watch. Next, they're going to try to bring a lawsuit against the city. <laughs> it's time that the mayor take action against oversized umbrellas. Now, we will continue our fight until justice is done here.
sir. Now these men have sustained both mental and physical trauma. 1978. The only umbrella was available to the public was a black umbrella. That's racist. You hear me? Black umbrella. Now through this union, we have changed history. And we intend on doing that today. You hear me? Do you want change? When do you want it? Now! When? The press conference is about to be sabotaged by a bunch of flash mob pranksters. What the hell is this? This one of those flash mobs? Inappropriate! This is disrespectful, unsuitable, asparagus. This is bullshit. Mr. Roach is about to go mushuga. Get the hell out of here! This isn't a joke! This is a serious thing! And you're f***ing it up! Get out of here! Not now! This isn't a circus! This is a real thing! Break! Break it! As long as oversized umbrellas are allowed on city streets without a permit, is anyone truly safe? Thankfully, we have people like Christopher Roach fighting for our safety. With the help of a therapist, Christopher tries to face his pain through comedy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just thanks for uh, coming out tonight. I uh, I um I almost didn't make it here because uh, I almost got my eye taken out by this woman's uh, umbrella on 7th Avenue. I don't know if you've seen the size of some umbrellas nowadays. I mean, seriously, like this woman's rushing towards me on 7th Avenue with what I thought was her patio umbrella. Uh, yeah, so, like, she's like, you know, she's, just, she's like rushing towards me and like, she's not even paying attention because she's on her cell phone, right? And I see like her little dog's head, it's like a little Shih Tzu 
sticking out of the pocketbook, like, and this dog's looking at me like, uh, yeah, this bitch ain't stopping. And, uh, <laughs> so I, um, uh, so yeah, there's all like, um, there's all different types. There's, uh, I saw this umbrella. It's like this woman, she's walking down the street. She's like dragging her oxygen tank. You know, she's got the thing in her nose. She has like a dome see-through umbrella. So like she looks like the boy in the plastic bubble. You remember that movie? You ever see that movie? Boy in the plastic bubble? Uh, so, uh, it's one of two, um, uh, there's, uh, uh, you know, that's my time, guys. Thanks so much. I gotta, thank you. Thanks. Put your umbrella up when the rain comes down, or you will get wet right through. Put your umbrella up when the rain comes down. Put your coat and boots on too. I...